All right, let's take our final reading. If you want to have a clear view on the beret, place a white tie behind it. It is 10. It is 10. So it is 10. We started from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So we are getting 10 as our rough. So I go to the board to record what I have seen. So 0, 0, 0. Our final reading here is 10. So you minus it from the 0, you have 10. Then I do my second, my first reading. I prepared another set. I'm starting with 10 because my burette capacity is actually, my burette capacity is actually 50 mil. has to be on your eye level to know yeah yeah so while that is reading i carefully measure my 10 mil of dilute that was of a six it has to be 10 mil each of the titration you measure 10 mil all right that's my 10 mil Carefully place the apparatus, the purple color, keep the chlorizing again. Wow, this is beautiful. The potassium permanganate is being reduced by the ion 2 sorts. But the ion 2 sort is acting as a reducing agent. At the end of the day, the potassium permanganate will also or the dyes die on two sorts, but that is seen by a permanent pink color. We are getting there. It has. It has. Wow. On standing, it was the dice to this. On standing, it was the dice to this. Let me take my reading. Wow, I think this is less than 10. I'm having 19.5 as my reading. 19.5. I started from 10 as my initial on my first reading. I have 19.50. That will be 9.50. All right. You decant, you rinse again to start afresh. For the second reading, I still have enough of my base here. If I have a concordant value, there won't be any need to go to the third one. You have to be very careful to be accurate. Redox titration is so interesting because it involves colors. You don't need indicator. I'm running the second one without refilling because my burette capacity is 50, 50 mil, 50 mil. Wow. That's my pick. That's my pick. This 
I started from 19.50. Now I'm having 29.50. So this should be zero. Here will be zero. So you have um, 10, right? We have 10. So let's make do with this. We have 10. It's not concordant. We have to do another one. It's not concordant. I have to refill. I have to refill. So I can get a concordant reading I'm going to use. Be careful so that I don't suck in the iron surface. Wow. My 10 mil. Dilute that trousers of a six acid for acidification. It supplies the proton, which speed up the titration wow i'm ready now to go the final lap i will add in drop by drop it's almost there Wow, that is it. Permanent pink. On standing, it was the dice to this. All right, my reading here is actually 10. 10. This is the mark of 10. I return back to my board for my calculation. I'm done with my titration. So I return back to the board. So I set it from zero when I refill it. And I got 10.00. So this is my final reading. Now, as you can see, this and this are concordant. This and this cannot be. This cannot be. The difference is 0 0.5 and it's much. So I will make use of my second and my third titers. So I'll divide it by two. So what I will have will be equals to 10.00 plus 10.00. All over two. Your 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 title value should be left in two decimal places. So you have twenty point zero zero all over two, which is ten point zero zero CMQ. So this is my VA. Now let's go straight to the let's go straight to the question. Now they say from your results and information provided, calculate the concentration of B. In mole per DQ, calculate the concentration of B in mole per DQ. Now, what is actually B? From the question, they say B is a solution of ion two tetras of a six containing two point seven five gram of the salt in five hundred CQ, which means that two point seven five gram of ion sulfate was dissolved in 500 cm cube of solution all right now let me standardize it how many gram of iron sulfate will dissolve in 1000 cm cube of solution because in preparing the standard solution i use one dm cube and one dm cube is equal to 1000 cm cube so that will be x equals to 2.75 times 1000 all over 500 and that will be x equals to 2.75 times 2 i have 5 points so this is 1 this is 2 so i have 5.5 0 gram now, this gram is actually in dm cube. So, this is actually my mass concentration. But the question is concentration of B 
Imo Padienke. Concentration of B, Imo Padienke. So I will use this calculation, this formula. Concentration in Mo Padienke, which is equal to concentration in gram per dm cube all over molar mass now the molar mass of b is actually given in the question which is 152 gram per mole so this is my mass concentration this is my molar concentration this is my molar mass i am looking for concentration in gram per dm cube so it becomes concentration in gram, gram in mole per dm cube is equals to 5.50 all over 152. I have 0 0.03618 approximately. Now, when you're calculating your concentration in mole per dm cube, you must leave your answer in three significant figures. So what I have will be 0 0.0 362 mole per dm cube. Please don't forget writing your units. Wrong units attract negative score. So we are done with that. Now, the BII is concentration of A in mole per dm cube. Concentration of A. Concentration of A in mole per dm cube. Now, one of the essence of volumetric analysis is to use unknown concentration to a known concentration to find an unknown concentration. Now, having known the concentration of B, all right, we can now find the concentration of A. Now, we are going to use the titration formula, which is CA, CB, v, CA, VA over. C B B B equals to N A over M B. Now you can also use uh, the oxidizing agent in substitute your B and A you are using. You can say C O dot A V O dot A in substitute, and also B C B C R dot A V R dot B R dot A and N R dot O A subscript O dot A the M B R uh, subscript R dot A to represent oxidizing and reducing agent. Now let me uh, substitute in my value. Now C A is what we are looking for. It's unknown. Times volume of acid is calculated to be ten point zero zero all over concentration of the base is given as. 0 0.0362 times volume of B is the volume of the base prepared, which is 25.00, giving you equals to NA is the mole ratio of A, MB is the mole ratio of B, which is 1 over 5. So CA will be equals to 0 0.362 times 25.00 times 1 all over 10.00 times 5. Mm -hmm. I have is 0 0.02. So to trace in can figure you add extra 0 more per dm cube. So let's go straight to the last one. The amount, the amount of Fe2 in the volume of B, in the volume of B, pipetted, the volume of B, pipetted, the volume of B, pipetted, in the volume of B, pipetted. So you know that in this concentration, the mole of B is actually 0 0.0362. This is the mole of the B. 
but this mode is in 1000 TMQ. Now, the question is, how many more? I don't know. Let me call it X mode in volume of B, which is actually 25.00 CMQ. So I now calculate X equals to 0 0.0362 times 25 all over 1000. So I have 0 0.0008405 moles. So that's my final answer. Now this is actually my expected question for the redox attraction chemistry wire practical 2024. I wish you all the best and um I actually want to encourage you to read widely. Um, in this question, we didn't use any indicator. And the reason is because the purple color of the potassium tetras of manganese 7 is self indicative. We don't need to use any indicator. So watch out for the next video for expected uh, questions from uh, three, number three. Uh, practical questions. Thank you. I remain blessed.